Oh, oh it's guys. one of those guys with the anemones on the back end. I'll bring it in. These are so Go bizarre. Ahead. Okay, people. Hold there. What I'm told is that these these are akin to hermit crabs, only they don't have a shell. They have. Zoom in. If this is the same and one, hold. they have an anemone. Ooh. Yes, that Ooh. grows <laughs> with with the animal the and oh, basically good, secretes a shell for it to move around I with. Lose the skids. Yeah, hold there. Fascinating critter. Right, so, so that's good, and I was doing a little bit more little reading little in the meantime, and, and yeah. it turns out there are several little different uh, groups everyone. of anemones that do this, uh, possibly six different genera from four different families, yeah, three, wow. and five, not zero, all of them so you have, uh, um, continue to minutes. secrete that yeah. shell, so in at least Roll one group, it's again. just the anemone, but it's otherwise, uh, in some of these others, as you've described it, the structure is called a carcinesium. Carcin for crab, uh, like carcinology, and the ECM is referring to this, uh, basically the new shell that is being produced. It's an interesting association. The anemone can benefit because it may get food bits while the crab is feeding, uh, but also the crab can defend the anemone from predators or it can run away, so the anemone is moved away from the predator. The anemone also protects the crab because the anemone has uh, stinging cells in the tentacles and right. that can ward off uh, octopus, for example, that may want to uh, feed on this. Yeah. So this seems to be association. Oh, okay. Some of the studies that have been done show that uh, anemone species don't seem to care what kind of crab they're on, but some crab species are specific to the type of anemone that they prefer.